Hi everyone, this is your friendly neighborhood, California Mojave Gardener. I want to show you how to harvest your seeds for the growing season. Now, if you've seen one of my last videos, you saw that I had three different peppers. I had bell pepper, which was red, banana peppers, and serranos. Now this is how you, this is a video on how you get your pep, your uh, seeds. Okay. Now, in actuality, this was one big envelope. Okay. I took my scissors. I cut it straight across. Then what I did was I got some tape. All I had was moving tape. So I took a piece of moving tape and then I cut it along down this way. What I did was I taped up the ends. What I did, as you can see, I taped here, folded tape over, and I taped here on both sides if it needs be. I think two of them didn't need to go uh, both, both sides. This is empty. This is empty. These three, this one is empty. Um, I looked at the banana uh, pepper seeds and kind of find out all of them was black, so none of them were viable. So I'm going to take this one out. Only ones that I had left was these two. Um, the viable seeds for the red uh, bell pepper, nice yellow, not broken. You don't want to get any that's broken. You don't want to get any that's too thin. You want to make sure they're a little thick. They're, they're thin, but not paper thin. And as you can see, these are the serranos. Now the serrano peppers, I had a lot of seeds. I had that much seeds. The two bell peppers, I have about that much seed. So, put these aside. Now, as you can see, today is the 13th. The reason why I wrote the 11th on here is because when I originally took the seeds out to allow them to dry in one of these, it was the 11th. So, the peppers were actually in here. Okay, these are a combination of all three peppers. These are what's left. None of them are doable. You're gonna take your pair of tweezers, wash them off really well, hot soapy water, and then hit it with some alcohol. See this one right here. Let me see. This one right here. Look how thin it is. Woo. I'm trying to get a hold on it. See how thin this is. Come on in the focus for me. I'm trying to get it to focus. It's very thin. You don't want that. Then you have pieces like, hmm. Here's another one. You want something like this. I put all three in here, so I don't know which pepper this is. It's either the red bell pepper or serrano, but I'm gonna leave it in here. But this is about how you want your pepper to look. You don't want your pepper seed to look like that. Or even like either one of those. Or like this. These four over here, 
You don't want it to look like that. You want them nice and viable, a little thick, especially in the middle, not see-through. You want it, this is perfect right here. One That one slipped by me, but I don't know if it's a serrano or red pepper, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it in here. And this is everything else. This is everything that goes literally in the trash or the dumpster. I would not put these in my compost because it does have red pepper, red hot peppers in here, which are the serranos. And you just leave them out for two to three days and they'll be good. Now, with these, I got to go back and I got to clean them real well, hot soapy water, and hit it with some alcohol so I can put them back where they go. Make sure that you have some sort of pen where you can write down, this is a fountain pen, where you can write what the peppers are and what was the date that you originally took them out. See that? So I just wanted to show you how you can save your pepper, your pepper seeds. And I will, I got to get, an, I, I want another pepper plant. So I'm going to see if the other couple of peppers that are growing, if they have any seeds that's viable. If so, I'm going to put them in here. But this, oof. This is good for now. Make sure you seal it because you will have stuff peeking out of the sides and you don't want that. So I'm going to grow me two more plants because I love bell peppers. And I'm going to go into my other bell pepper seeds and see if I can get a yellow one or an orange one. But I got all the yellow, the orange, and the red all mixed up. I just looked up and this was the red one. I'm going to try it again with the other pack and see if I can get a yellow or an orange one. And these are my serranos, which I'm going to grow another serrano plant. Maybe. I think the I think the serrano pepper powder should be enough for me because I like heat, but I don't like a lot of heat. So I might give these away to somebody or I might uh, do starters and then sell my starters or give them away to anybody who wants to try to grow them. But yeah, that is how you harvest your seeds. Don't forget that you're going to let your seeds stay just laying out on something. Don't use plastic. Don't use plastic. This is going in the trash can. Uh, but this is perfect. Just put them in there, spread them out, give them two to three days to dry, and then harvest your seeds. And now I'm going to save these seeds for when I plan to use them again. I'll have seeds saved up. All right, that is it. I am going to leave you now, and I'm going to go ahead and download this video all right shall be seeing you later ciao ciao oh and don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get a notification of every time I upload a video and please share my video with other first-time gardeners so we all can come together and I shall talk to you later ciao